Today is test day for the Blu-ray XL. So we've just got to where we're actually going to test this Blu-ray XL here. Before we do anything, we're going to have to test the water chemistry. The reason we decided to use this pool in particular, you can see it's got some uh, some algae issues. We also tend to have trouble keeping chlorine in here. Maybe one part per million. pH is around 7.2, alkalinity about 100. So the chemistry level is fine. Stabilizer is about 20. So the chemistry is actually perfect, minus the fact that I can't hold chlorine in it. And that's probably why we're getting some of this uh, these algae blooms. It's also suffering a bit with um, some black algae. There's one. There's some more. More right there. Does this thing clean to get rid of black algae? I don't think so. Will it? I don't expect so either. Um, but you know, if it does, I'll be sure to let you know because I know getting rid of black algae is one of our biggest problems, especially with getting rid of it and keeping it gone for long periods of time. They were very particular about the fact that you have to clean the filter before you do anything. It's the same for the, it's the exact same for the Pool RX. We keep our filters on our schedule anyway. Does the rod always come out on this one? Yeah. Well, I've got my lackey over there cleaning up the filter. I'm just gonna go and, uh, you know, just open up this Blu-ray XL bag and start putting these minerals in while I service this pool. Okay, so this is obviously the, uh, this is the blue one right here. And this is for seven and a half to 20,000 gallon pools. The ionizer or the, the metal tube that's inside of it is silver plated. I think it's like 99.9% .9 silver. This doodad right here. Now, this is gonna go directly into the pump basket. Right here, just gonna drop that baby in there, like so. You guys can get a little bit of an idea as well as to what kind of algae we're dealing with right here. I'm just gonna pan down and just show you exactly what happens when I brush. Yeah, you can see that cloud coming off right there. We've done cleanups here before with uh, Algitech and with other copper-based um, algicides and stuff. We haven't tried a Pool RX in here, hence why I want to test it. Um, we've had really good success with the Pool RX and more of these long-term kind of trickle or ionizer type um, algicides before. We've, we've had really good success with the Pool RX. So I'm excited to see in about two weeks time because that's typically how long it takes for me to see the results from an RX. Curious to show you guys in two weeks time exactly what the Blu-ray XL does for us here. Pool has been serviced. Now it is time to put the filter back in now that it's nice and clean. Thank you, Lackey. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to put the, uh, the minerals in. It's actually my mother. She doesn't appreciate being called Lackey. Double checking all of the directions for use. Clean filter before installation. Done. Thank you, camera woman. I'm going to stop calling you lackey now. <laughs> uh, two, add the ionizer cylinder to the pump or skimmer basket. Donezo. Um, pour the minerals into the pump or skimmer basket. Also done. Then run filtration for one to three hours to fully dissolve the minerals. Wait an hour before swimming. No one's getting in today. It's about 55 degrees outside. So that won't be an issue then do not add other chemicals into the skimmer while the minerals dissolve. This has a chlorine feeder on it over here, so that's not gonna be an issue whatsoever. So now that that's all done, let's put this lid back on here and turn it back on. That's kind of curious. Just put this in and I was fully expecting it to just go in and kind of coat the filter, 
but it's immediately the blue color this is has gone clean through the system and seems to have dumped in the pool i don't know if that's meant to happen i wasn't expecting it just something that i thought i'd note for